Hey guys, thank you for joining me. My name is Craig. I'm with 3D Resin Solutions. And if you're unfamiliar with us, what we do is manufacture custom 3D printing resin for SLA, DLP, LCD printers. Uh, today I'll be printing on a Photon Anycubic, and I'll be using Hero DLP LCD uh, photopolymer. All right. So some of the equipment that you're going to need if you want to print at home. Uh, definitely going to need some glasses, all right, just disposable uh, plastic cups work fine. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that they're clear. It makes it easier to cure off the resin afterwards. Obviously, there's going to be some leftover residue inside the cup when you're done pouring it into the printer. Make sure you go ahead and set it outside with your stir sticks that you use. You can pick these up anywhere, grocery store. I use these little wood sticks, right? They make it perfect for stirring, and then you can set the whole thing outside and, and cure it out before you throw it away. You definitely don't ever want to throw away uncured resin, all right? General rule of thumb. Make sure you have safety glasses at all times and gloves at all times, okay? You don't want it touching your skin, obviously. You don't want it in your eyes. Safety data sheets, read them thoroughly before you play with resin, particularly if you're new to it, all right? Um, yeah, so without further ado, I was kind of going through Thingiverse, trying to figure out what color I wanted to start with. Uh, but I decided to make it green because I found this guy. And Yoda Hulk by print a lot of potamus. I thought he looked pretty cool. So let's go ahead and download our file here, throw it on the desktop and get our Anycubic launched. All right, so obviously a big file, much bigger than the Anycubic can handle. So we're gonna have to shrink them down a bit. Let's try 50%. Uh, still a little big. 30%. There we go. That's more the size I'm looking for. I really don't want it to print more than four or five hours. Um, all right, let's get them centered. And yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm printing normal layer thickness of 0 0.05, exposure time at 15. Um, bottom exposure time 50 sometimes I bump that up to 60 or 70 that is pretty common and bottom layers 8 is fine with me um, so normal exposure time the hero resin here will print from 10 to 15 seconds I'm gonna stay on the safe side I've never printed this before and I'm just gonna stick with standard settings okay so I'm gonna highlight him kind of get him in the center there and throw on some supports all right so when it comes to the Anycubic Photon, I generally add some extra supports. I think some softwares add too much support, and I think the Anycubic software is software that doesn't quite add enough. So I like to get all the spots that kind of look like they might need a little extra. Um, definitely want to get some on here. Let's see if I can not right there, maybe about halfway down. Uh, about there yeah and then if you want maybe throw some on the feet just add sturdiness to the base it's not gonna hurt anything you can sand off that stuff later all right okay it's pretty good gonna move them over here a little bit and let's slice it out I'm guessing about four hours see what it says four hours and 46 minutes all right cool okay so I'm gonna run down there and throw it on the printer weigh it up I'll be using again the DLP uh, hero black uh, transparent blue or cyan if you prefer and yellow okay I'm gonna 50 50 the yellow and black approximately I'll leave the formula down below of course and I'm gonna add a little bit of black just for some depth I'm kinda gonna shoot for like a forest green for this guy alright so without further ado I'm gonna run downstairs get it taken care of and um, see how it turns out be back in a minute
Alright, so we finished up this morning, or we finished the print last night. I hope you enjoyed the montage there uh, and the stock music. We have a pretty cool looking color. It ended up being about 47% of the transparent blue, or cyan if you prefer, 47% uh, in whereabouts of the uh, transparent yellow, and about 5% of the black. And he turned out really like a nice hawkish green, forest green. Uh, I weighed up 100 grams. It's the perfect amount for the anti-cubic photon. Uh, 100 grams, you do about um, probably three prints about this size. This is 1.75 inches tall by one inch wide. And you can get about three or four prints out of them before you have to add more resin. All right, so I'm very happy with how he turned out. I really like the detail, really like the color. I, um, from, what was his name? Printolotopotamus. I think he does some cool work. I'll probably print more of his stuff. I'll do a link to the to this file down below. I printed him again if you uh, you know about thirty percent, and yeah. So please like, subscribe to the video. Three uh, D Resin Solutions is a new company we just launched about three weeks ago. We do have a dedicated team of hobbyists here and chemists who are looking to create custom resins that you guys want. So get involved. Uh, feel free to you know comment down below, try the product, let me know what you think, and we'll move forward together. I'll create videos and new formulations as we go. I'll be printing on the Form Labs Form 2. I'll be printing on the Anycubic, the Unis printer. I'm flying out to California next week to meet with the Unis people. Really excited about that. And uh, hopefully we can come out with some really cool content regarding that. So, yeah. Make it a great day, guys, and I hope to see you back.